Hello and welcome everyone. This is the PowerPoint Kids and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, today I've got uh, from my left here. Joshua. Introduce yourself. Joshua. Extreme uh, right. My name is Ethan. My name is Abel. Yes, this is powerful, and I hope you're going to have a nice time discussing about uh, Jesus. So today we're on lesson number six, which says forgiving the runaway. Yeah, I can see someone was running away for sure, like, ee, ee, ee. I don't know what was running away from, but a, run a runaway is a runaway. So we're going to have our first prayer uh, from uh, Abriel. It's Abriel, right? Abriel. Abriel, yes. Pray for us, my brother. Let us pray. Our Father, what in heaven, Lord, we'd like to thank you for giving us this day, Lord, and we'd like to thank you for giving us a sermon so that we can preach to everyone, Lord, and we thank you for giving us this day, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, now we're going to start maybe with a, a text, a text uh, from uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Read for us, uh, preacher man. So today our verse is coming from Matthew chapter 5, verse 24. Um, it says, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Wow, wow, wow. Did you hear that, guys? Yes, yes you see somebody bringing gifts uh, at the altar and then... The text says it's better for you to go reconcile, make things right uh, with the person first before you bring your gifts. Uh, what, does this sh what does this show? Uh, someone to try. Uh, what does this show anyway? Okay, if God says it's better to forgive each other than to bring your gifts, what does this mean? What does this mean? Want to try, Josh? Mm -hmm. You don't want to try. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ethan? I think it means that, like, when you, like, forgiving is um, better than, is way much, is way important than um, bringing your altar. Than bringing gifts, you see now. So, bringing gifts. Up. Yes, yes. So, you, you see that but, like, God give, forgives us over several times. Like, he always forgives us, even when we do bad things. We still lie and do all sorts of bad things, but God still forgives us. That's why He left the Lord's Prayer for us. You see now, yeah. so forgiveness is key. And now the theme is saying forgiving the runaway. Yes, yeah, so maybe you can give us uh, in summary uh, what uh, was in the context or what was in the in the PowerPoint, uh, my brother. Just summarize everything so that we know how to go about it. So in our power text, it was about a person called Onesimus who had stolen something from his master and had ran away. So he was scared of the Roman law that allowed his master to do anything to him, like torturing him or murdering him. Mm. So he mm. crossed across, he went across the Mediterranean Sea, then he met up with Paul, who, mm. was under, who was under house arrest, was spreading the word of God. Then Paul taught him about God, Jesus Christ. Then Paul tells his, then Paul tells Onesimus' master about Onesimus, and then he sent Onesimus back to Philemon, his master. Mm. Then Philemon then forgave him after what he had done. Wow, wow, okay. Uh, that's an amen, right? Amen. Yes, that's an amen. That's, uh, that's our story, like in, in summary. So now uh, the question comes now. You see this person had wronged his master, stolen from his master, and he ran away. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so now, uh, uh, why now is it important now to 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 ask for forgiveness when you when you wrong someone in life, like in general? Why is it important to ask for forgiveness? Because this one could not ask for forgiveness; it just ran away, like mm, running away after uh, doing something wrong. Why is it why is it important? I'm going to start with uh, Brother Josh. I think it's important because it it might may seem like you. Uh, you don't you don't want to forgive you don't want you're not sorry for what you said okay. what you what you did you know that? 
you're not it seems as if like you're not sorry for what you did it seems as if like when when you did something wrong you're like ah he won't forgive me it's best i don't try to like ask her for him to forgive me just you move on it's not really that important basically it's what like the feeling you get like no matter what, what um what happen you should still ask for forgiveness cuz like it the the consequences don't matter as long as if you ask for forgiveness cuz like like you can maybe you can insult a person mm-hmm. then you, um then you don't say sorry mm-hmm. like and then that person can want to commit suicide or hurt themselves is it because of you not saying sorry to them okay so this shows that running away is not a solution uh you must uh be responsible and accountable for your actions right mm. yeah so as children nowadays we think that their children living in the streets yeah their children are uh, in some areas uh, social welfare uh we have run away from their beautiful homes having a bed having a uh, having breakfast supper br- everything but you see that person will be running away from home because he or she did something wrong so thank you for this lesson because it's saying we must ask for forgiveness and our parents are ready to forgive us are we together yes yeah. so now uh there is this issue that onis must now as a runaway person now uh, uh, he, i think he was stressed yeah in that situation i think he was under depression but now the solution from brother paul uh, was uh, spiritual uh, than drugs and suicide what can we comment can you comment on that it also like also in the text it says that honest must had planned on leaving on not going to back to his master after mm. what he had done he had planned on going to his friend's house to stay there but then the spirit of god and also paul had reminded him that he must go to apologize to fix what he had, had broken mm, mm, mm. what's your take uh, brother brother josh um i think when we have done something wrong we, we should go to our local uh, pastors like if i had done something wrong i i ran away i should go for advice from other pastors okay what from uh okay so now you believe that onismas could have been depressed and uh, uh under stress because of what he had done right yes. so a spiritual solution is best always seek counseling are, are we together always seek redress you must also ask for god to help <laughs> is it yes that's correct yeah you mustn't be a loner just to say you know i'm going to fix things and learn you you it's not possible okay and also mm. like when like for an example you broke your mom you like a glass at home right and that or like a, a really expensive fridge right then right you then say ah it wasn't me right then you start say blaming others right then you then right once right i heard this story about a person right who had who kept on blaming another person who was in his house right then that person wanted to leave cuz they were like just always being blamed for something they had never done so this means that um even though that and the per- and the parents had not for and weren't for giving him for something he didn't even do so this means even if um for like we didn't do it we must still like tell up um we should still forgive others even if they didn't do it because it might cause to um uh, um relation breaking um problems very good so now uh as we are about to to close we see that there are issues of blackmail in children in schools nowadays someone says okay aha uh-huh, i know your story uh, if you don't give me food hmm, you are in trouble if you don't give me money you are in trouble until you've got nothing to give but suicide uh have you ever seen such this is the situation uh honest mass was in okay but if, if he had not told paul about it he could be in such a predicament have you ever seen issues of blackmail maybe Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me at my it. at my school, right? Okay, uh, uh, let's start with Josh maybe. Uh yes. Um I've also been blackmailed once. Uh my sister my sister wanted to tell my mom <laughs> something. You know 
what she she it seemed like it was bad but I didn't really know how to so she was like if you don't give if we don't play games if I if I don't give him let's say my tablet I would she would tell my mom but I didn't know they were just scared of getting beaten. Mm-hmm. So there are people who have got issues in homes there. Eh? People are under blackmail. Eh? <laughs> okay, you want you wanted to say something? And we last year, right, when at school, like so people had been on so my classmates, right, they were on social they were, they were on social media right? and then right, so the teacher does teachers has had told us to stop being on social media, right? But then some of my classmates ignored them, right? And then they kept on, you know, going playing and watching things on social media, right? So then after that, um, the other people in my class were saying, if you, for an example, if you don't give us sweets, you will tell that you are still um watching, you know, all these things on social media that cause about the cartoons, or I mean about the movies that have been posted that aren't for our age. Okay, you see now. So, so, so you're in trouble then. It was, it, it was my classmates. No? Oh, okay. No, I thought maybe it was you who was in trouble for watching uh, things which are not of your age. No, I don't. Is like, it? Even okay. on my Google account, there's restrictions. Is it? Ah, that's powerful. So now... I can't even block the restrictions. So like... Ah, uh, okay, like, okay. If even pop-ups, you, you, you don't watch uh, like uh, some funny pop-ups? Yeah. It, then... Yeah, in my house, we use like. Oh, uh, let's start with with it then. No, it's fine. You are, it's, you are you are going to come second. Yes. Um, like sometimes, like you know, when you switch on the internet, right? Yes. Like sometimes there are these like stories. Mm-hmm. Let's say um a person has been killed in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Like something viral mm-hmm. has happened in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Like it pops on your phone. A uh, pops up on your phone, and then like you see that, and then I like when I see that, like I don't do any, anything, I don't like, I don't open the thing, I just leave it alone. Very good. Some of the stuff I'm, I'm not for my age, but like I've even told my mom, cause mom, like this is what's happening on my phone, and then she says that, that and then she says that, she said that, um, just don't open the thing, the files, and I didn't. Very good. Before she even told me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Some yes. So make it a habit, right? Okay. When you see any funny pop up, please delete that pop up because it might not be appropriate uh, for you. Are we together? Yes. yes. So now allow us to to conclude by saying, Paul, yeah, to meet yet and pay for the runaway. Uh, he, he, he wanted to pay for the runaway, uh, like uh, what uh, Jesus did for us. Uh, are there any similarities maybe with what Jesus did uh, for us? Because we are the ones who were uh, in trouble. We are the ones who were sinners. Jesus was in heaven, beautiful place, and then we are the ones who were found in the wrong, but Jesus had to come in for us. Is there any similarity uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, this uh, uh, film on and on his mass story? Starting from Josh, and then we end there. Um, when, when Jesus was dying on the cross, mm-hmm. he forgave um, a thief, one of the thieves. Okay. Uh, I think this is ba- this is what uh, Jesus is basically feeling on forgiving the thief. The thief would be Onesimus. That's what I take. Mm, mm, mm. Did you hear that? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what's your take on that, uh, Abby? And also, I wanted to say about like in our day to day lives, right? Mm-hmm. So, like for an example, we are doing an activity, right? And like we are like. We are about to lose, right, on our side, right? We need to get help from others on our team. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't try to run away from our, uh, for, from our mistakes. Like, we should try to fix them and ask for um, forgiveness. Okay, okay, thank you. Honest must did. Honest must did. like, run away. Okay. He, wait, well, he ran away. So that's what we should do. Okay, okay. So now Jesus died for us. He, he paid for our sins, right? And then uh, we 
are supposed to go back to him just like what uh, Onismas did, right? So most people, when they wrong, when they are found on the wrong, they don't apologize, they don't uh, seek reprieve ETC, but all I can say today is if we are sinners, uh, we are sinners, right? Yes. We must always find Jesus to say we are sorry. As much as we can find forgiveness or seek forgiveness from other people who are mortal, it's important to be forgiven by Jesus. Are we together? How would you feel if you are forgiven by Jesus, uh, uh, Josh, as we finish? Uh, I would be happy. I would be happy. You've got sins, right? Ah, I think you've got plenty of sins, George. Uh, not, not <laughs> just a little. Just, ah, seriously. How yes. can you be happy? If it means that the, the sins are, are, are reaching the roof there. I'm happy because I'm, if he is forgiven my sins, I can be near again and go to heaven. Amen. How would you feel if Jesus could, uh, could, could forgive your sins? I would be happy that he would have, I would be happy that Jesus would have still forgiven me after all of the bad things I've done in my life. And everyone is a sinner, no matter what. How old are you now? I am 10. You've done so many things. Even people who are even like three years old, they still have their sins. <laughs> like seriously? Yes. Like a three-year-old baby, uh, 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 what sin uh, could that baby com uh, commit? Like maybe stealing like <laughs> sweet candy or sugar. Is it? Yeah, ah, and wait. Yeah. So like if, if one of our sins is as thin as a paper, mm. at least for a three year old it would maybe be like mm, three thirty centimeters. Thirty centimeters. Because even when I was three years old I kept having this urge to steal sweets and sugar from my mom's bag. Okay. Well, how would you feel if you are if uh, to be forgiven by Jesus? I feel very, very, very happy. Why? Because, like, um, God would have forgiven all the sins that I would have done throughout my whole life. Throughout your whole life? How old are you? I'm 12. You're 12 now. You've got a whole life, I'm, I can see. <laughs> That's beautiful. So, the Bible says, For all you have sinned and fallen short from the glory, of God. So even if our PowerPoint, our kids, we are sinners and we need the mercies of God. Are we together? Yes. So let us uh, be prayerful and let us return to God. Let us uh, 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 plead for forgiveness even from our parents. We know that we yell at them at times. Uh, we say bad things about them. Even to say, Dad, you are you're as bold as an egg. You can imagine. Maybe Dad might be sick so, uh, that day or that week and you are not so sure uh, of what's affecting him, you are busy laughing at him, so we must uh, seek forgiveness at all times. Are we together? Yes. Right, thank you so much. Anything uh, before we call this a day? Anything to say? Um, God forgives us no matter what we do, and if we go and repent or confess, God can help us. Amen. Last words? Um, uh, we should forgive anyone who has done us wrong, and we should not blackmail each other. Mm. Anything to say? We should forgive everyone because in the Bible it says that we should forgive everyone 70, 70 times 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's powerful. Thank you so much, boys and girls. And I, uh, I cannot say much because everything has been settled here. Thank you so much uh, for watching this program. Allow me to, to pray today. Uh, we are praying. Heavenly Father, thank you so much uh, for the PowerPoint class. Uh, we believe uh, that uh, all of us uh, are sinners and we believe that we need grace, Father. Bless us as children, forgive us our sins. Our sins are so pathetic and they are nasty, but we thank the blood of Jesus. Uh, we thank God for Calvary now because our sins are going to be covered uh, with in your blood, uh, Father. Thank you so much for this gesture. Thank you for the children represented here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Until next time. Bye-bye.